Hi, welcome to my hair disaster video. This is what my hair was before I dyed it. It was a dark, dark black hair. It was a cute little bob. And yeah, here is me protecting my scalp with some petroleum. This is the hair color I use. It was a L'Oreal High Color Highlights in red and magenta. This hair dye is really good for dark hair but only if your dark hair is virgin if not you will have a lot of trouble lifting up your hair example this video i my hair was not virgin so i don't know why i used it i remember thinking that it would lift me up so i just decided to try it anyway but yeah it didn't lift me up i had too much color in my hair i had too many layers to go through so yeah this is me applying it i did the ends first before i did the roots always work on your ends first before working on your roots it's honestly it's one of the coolest hair dyes because it's so vibrant it works really well if you know what you're doing I let my ends process for a bit and then I did my roots and then I let that process for another couple of minutes. And this was the result of the hair dye. It is fried. It is so fried. It is so messed up and uneven. My roots were obviously virgin so look how bright the roots are you could tell this hair dye works really well on virgin hair if you have virgin hair do not be afraid of using it because it will lift you up really good since at this point i knew my hair was messed up i decided to try and make it better by giving myself a little haircut so this is me trying to see if giving me a really short bob would make everything okay and yeah i am cutting it really bad <laughs> as you could tell Right here you could tell that my hair is just not getting any better. It is not looking cute anymore. It is just looking like a Willy Wonka bob. It is way too short. My face is way too round to have a Willy Wonka haircut. Those scissors are also extremely dull. They are not helping the situation at all. I actually still have them. I should probably throw them away because it's been it's been years now. I gave up on the bob idea and I decided to go for a cute pixie haircut so I wanted to give myself layers I started twisting up the hair and I've always I had seen somewhere that if you twist up the hair and you cut it it'll give you some type of layers 
Yeah, I just made my hair super uneven. Just go get a haircut from a professional. This was the result of my haircut, and from the front it doesn't look too bad, but from the back it looks extremely bad. So what do I do? I decide to bleach it to try to get some kind of nice hair color here. My hair is already fried, so putting bleach on top of that, I think you could figure out what kind of result you're going to get. This is the result of the bleach and it did lift up pretty good. And then I toned it afterward and it ended up very gross and muddy looking. It looks so bad. It looks so bad. That was my last straw and I finally decided to get some help from a professional and I went to go get a professional haircut. And I got this small, cute little pixie. The back was short and then the top still had a little bit of length of it so I could do a little bang. So I wouldn't feel too bald, but I still, I still felt really bald. But it ended up being one of my favorite haircuts that I've ever done. And also my favorite hair colors. I really enjoy the purple. I couldn't bleach my hair again. So I just needed to leave it alone. So I decided to go with this nice dark purple. And it was very cute and I thought that it was the best outcome actually from all the mess that I did. So yeah, that's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't mess with your hair so much like I did. Okay, bye.